Alright, what is up you beautiful people and welcome back to the bountiful and bodacious bro as you will uh, be keen to hear Everyone speaks English now. I think right there we go. What's the plan boys? Everyone speaks English now and that's because I've changed it back uh, We're gonna slap down some hydros here and uh, let me okay. Hold on. There's like 10 things I want to tell you guys right now So let me just call let me just cool it down here. So bra modifiers first off I'm playing as the Haka, but we also start with the free to Haka yay uh and next uh we have bountiful so we have lots of income so i'm just gonna be auto gassing and next we have mm, unstoppable so my hydras are gonna get dummy thick so that's why i have them down here i mean my hydras already have 100 hp um to begin with looks like there's a swan um but the haka's gonna be eating my hydras i'm just hoping my hydras can score some kills you know the only problem with the haka's hydras is they don't do any bonus like damn like they don't have a steroid you know they're just they're just they're just your good old Hydralis, you know, that's 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 all they're out. That's that, that's all they are. I mean your good old Hydralis isn't too bad, but you know, um, let's see. So it's like one space over here. So yeah, anyways, um, I did put out a poll and asked if you guys want the French voices in or out or like French in or out. And it looks like um, you guys prefer it in English. Surprise, surprise, considering most of you guys started listening to and watching my content <laughs> because, you know, I made it in English. Um, so you know what? There's no fighting that. So I'll probably just keep it. I'll probably still keep uh, French Fridays, Francais Fridays. That was, those will still be happening. Um, I'll just have to. Well, actually, it's a good thing now because I have I have like all of it downloaded anyways. Oh my God, he's got Goliath. Okay, I'm gonna have a munch on one of those. But anyways, like I have it. I have all the voices downloaded already anyways. So it's like it's not that bad. And oh my God, that lag is horrendous. There, we got some slideshow. So unfortunately, Goliaths are not the answer to Hydralis, mostly because Goliaths. Um, well, I don't know. They don't get through to Haka fast enough. Um, let's see. I just gassed up. There we go. I'm going to make sure my next gas comes up. So, I don't know. Hydras are a decently fast attack unit that can get some attack speed. But I think what I want next is the bigger Hydralisk, also known as the Impaler. Because I'm pretty sure you evolved Impalers from Hydralisk. If I, if, if my Heart of the Swarm campaign knowledge serves me correctly. So I'm still going to have these Hydralisks here. Don't get me wrong, though. I'm, I'm still going to be having them. Maybe I'll move him back a little bit. There's that one Hydralis who killed that enemy to Haka. So Chad Hydralis right there. And then I'll buy a second. Oh, wait. That's a lot of Roaches. Can Tykus get through all these Roaches? Ah, who am I saying? Tykus can get through these Roaches, right? He's got a sweet talker here. He's just lost a little bit of DPS, but that's like not really that much in the grand scheme of things here. We got a Hellbat coming forward here. Okay. Rude of you to eat my Hydralis like that. How could you? That Hydralis had a... Family? I don't know, boys. Um, there we go. We're just gonna spitty, 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 boys. There we go, boys. Um, I'll put down a second to Hawk over here. There we go. Just have them both in the front. Get both of them healing. And then I'll probably move the Hydralis back a little bit, actually. I still want them to be in the V, but like slightly less exposed. So like back here. And then like, what is this? It's like a space of two. Like that. Like that. There we go. Is that symmetrical? It's like a little bit not symmetrical. A little bit not symmetrical, boys. Okay, anyways. Um, uh, yeah. Well, maybe I'll, I'll buy some worms, I guess. I don't know. But I want to save up for, for an Impaler, so let's not do that. Let's not do that just yet. And then against Swan, it's going to be like Swan tanks I have to deal with, probably. My Ultralisk should be able to do it, but I will probably need a Tyrannosaur as well. Two Tyrannosaurs, to be exact, actually, because there's a Dahaku who's going to eat one of my Tyrannosaurs. Uh, but yeah, Swan's just trying to build Goliath, and I can tell you right now, it's not going to work out for him. Goliath simply do not do enough damage to Dahaka. He needs Cyclones. Um, or, you know, yeah, he just needs Cyclones. That's basically it. Um, we have a bunch of Zealots coming in here. All right, okay, so I, there we go. I'm gonna put down my Impaler. I'm gonna put him down next to my Hydras because he is kind of a backline unit. Not kind of, but he is backline unit. What am I saying? Uh, I'm, gonna buy, I'm gonna try and buy a second Impaler here, put it on this side. And then I'm pretty sure Dahaka is thick enough to push through anything Swan can put down. I'm pretty sure that like, all I need is just a bunch of Tyrannosaurs and I can just laugh. I'm gonna get tier two Roar so I can silence Swan's um, Science Vessels. It makes it so he can't use energy, so that means he can't put down Defensive Matrix and he can't do anything else that Science Vessels can do. Very important you get that. I'm gonna get one level in Weapons, and then I'm gonna go Tier 3. Oh, wait, I need Tenderize too. Tenderize is Elite, and you must have Tenderize. There we go. Um, tenderize is just, just damage output. It's just raw damage. 
Um, but yeah. I don't want to invest too heavily in Hydras. If anything, I just want to have some Chad Hydralis with, lot, with large amounts of HP, if possible. Uh, and I think that would probably... Maybe Tier 3 right now is too early. Mm, but it will take me a long time to like save up and everything, right? There's no problem with that. Spinning Zealots here, probably going to spin all over these Slayers here. There we go, Slayers don't stand a chance. All this spin all over these killers, as they say in the French. There we go, let's put that arm pallet. Did these guys get thicker? Yeah, they are getting thicker. This one's not getting thicker. This one's gotten thicker though. This one has attack speed, that's why. It's always the attack speed one that gets thicker, boys. Uh, now the objective is just, uh, just trying to get as many of these guys to survive here. So let's put down our worm here. Um, and I'll just worm it up, boys. Let's do the worm. Hey, there's some siege tanks. Uh, can I eat those siege tanks? Do I have the range to eat them? Let's see. No, I don't. Okay. Well, just eat the Goliaths then. Just eat the Goliaths then. It's like the same thing. Uh, and I'll make them auto cast. Um, okay. Well, if that's the case, then we're going to start going tier three and we're going to need to, uh, Oh, can they see my other Impaler here? Oh, no, they can't. Okay. Un unfortunate. thought they were just going to go to town for free there. But yeah, so basically, I'm just going to buy some Tyrannosaurus. Well, actually, no. I'm going to buy two Ultralisk first. Probably on the flanks, like over here. And then they'll just sort of go into the center, and then they'll charge, like, and, like, sandwich. And I sort of just, you know, squish everything together. You know when Gordon Ramsay asked that chef what type of sandwich they are? That's what I'm trying to do with those uh, Ultralisk. Um, so anyways... Havocs, can you can you can you spit on those havocs? There we go. Get rid of those havocs. I don't want I don't want to see no havocs here. Get them out of here. Uh, I'm gonna give the Haka some extra armor. Um, but right now I will need to fight through basically three waves here. And that is gonna be a little bit of a struggle. A little bit of a struggle here. My hydras aren't thick enough. Do they have detection? They do have detection. Ah. Oh well. Oh well. Okay, boys, let's make some sandwiches. Boom. And then, boom. Okay, there we go. Are the Impalers getting thick at least? This this one with the attack speed, man. He's popping off. He's got 490 HP. He's basically doubled his health and then some. Um, got Brutal Charge coming in here. Uh, impaling Strike and Brutal Charge. Uh, can I get more stuff down here? Nah, I'm just going to level these up. And then, I don't know, healing adaptation is like, yeah. Oh, Nux is going to get super thick, I think, with that storm. He just got 15 kills. I feel like Nux has, the, has like, secret potential to get, like, giga thick. Like, giga thick this week. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Okay, so I'm just going to put this down right in the back and hopefully have those worms spit on those tanks. He's only got two of them, so my worms should probably be able to spit on all of them. Probably. Um... I say this with a big, big problem. My Hydralis are pretty thick, though, I think. Ah, eh, they're not that much thicker, but they, they are they are thick. Thick-ish. Uh, my Impalers survived, right? Three, All three of them survived. That's going to be good against Alarak. I will need that. So all I did was actually just introduce two Ultralisks, and that already changed a lot. Hey, this bad boy got some extra stuff on him, too. Now we got the Flame Breath. Since we're playing double Dahaka, we got double Flame Breath. You know, now I think about it, Dahaka's ground, like anti-ground capacity is is pretty high. He's kind of like a like a phoenix in terms of like his ability to take on ground units. Dahaka's ability to take on air units just is almost non-existent. <laughs> like Primal Mutalisk, I think could be okay if you buy only Primal Mutalisk. If not, though, you're kind of like not in a hot not in a hot spot. You know, you're in the hot seat, which is not where you want to be. There we go, Worms. Take care of those little baby tanks for me. Oh, they're getting, they're getting a little thick already. I don't like that. I got like 300 something health already. I don't quite like that. Um, there we go. We ate, we ate most of them. Okay, so I think now to deal with the tanks, we just got to buy a unit with so much health, the tanks just can't get through them. Uh, currently, those are Dahaka, but let's put down a Tyrannosaur, boys. So this first Tyrannosaur is going to get eaten, probably. 100%. Not even probably, but 100%. 100% chance to get eaten, but... That's because we're going to buy multiple applications of Tyrannosaurs. Uh, this is just the first one. Um, and also because Bountiful just makes it easier to, like, you know, not feel like that's a bad purchase. Uh, so let's get that. I'm going to get Tyrant's Protection here. And there we go, boys. We're going to get some extra armor on our stuff here. We got six um, armor 
on our dahaka here. Okay. All right. Okay, boys. There we go. I'm gonna slap down some worms here, boys. There we go. Put down some more units here. Let's get on with it, boys. We're gonna drop some fire breath here. This Tyrannosaur surprisingly actually just surviving here. He's gonna cleave his way through some stuff. He's mostly here for the meat shield, though. That's really all he is here for. Ah, the only thing is that whatever kills it is gonna get super thick, huh? That's not that great. I don't know. Do I just need more siege? Maybe I just need more units here. Maybe I just need more units here, boys. Man. I just need more units here, boys. It's gonna blast our way through here. Holy. Okay. Impalers are still doing their thing. Maybe I can just buy another Impaler. Ah, oh, I can't. Oh, this is the attack speed Impaler I was going to put down, too. This guy's huge now. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to put down some more Impalers here. Like, the attack speed Impaler is is elite. Um, if I get a longer range on the Devourer, should I get the, 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 the healing? Is there stuff I need to see? I don't know if that's the stuff that I need to see. I'm just going to get some healing, honestly. Like, healing on Dahaka is like... Well, actually, no, there are there are some swarm hosts over there. I should be able to I should be looking at. I just realized that. Uh, my Tyrannosaur went down like nothing though. Oh man, that's a doom stack over there, boys. That's not a death stack, that's a doom stack, boys. Alarax Wrathwalkers have all but stacked up over there and don't know how how we're gonna feel about it here. We've got a lot of zealots here running around in circles around the enemy Dahaka. But they're just gonna die to those vanguards, and like those siege tanks are just gonna get super, super thick here in the back. Holy crap. That's that's crazy, boys. That is crazy. I need to put down another Tyrannosaur here, boys. I need to put down another Tyrannosaur. Maybe? Or do I just want to put down more Impalers? Or do I need to put down Creeper Host? Ah, oh, man, but... problem with Creeper Host is, like, I don't have enough... I, they, I, need, I need so many of them before they start counting. You know? Um, let's just put down all these things here. You know what it is though? I need more front line. That's what it is. I need more front line. My units are melting. And okay, that's bad. Okay, so Tyrannosaur number two. Ultralisk uh number three. I don't know, boys. Um And I think I still need some more I need more damage output as well. Like I don't have enough enough impalers here. Okay, there we go. Holy crap, boys. Jesus. Okay, I'm gonna put down another Impaler here. Let's grab another Impaler, boys. Let's grab another Impaler, boys. Uh, I got some detection here. Oh man, this is just such a big Doom stack here. Like, I simply do not have enough DPS, boys. Is this thing in the sky? How could this be, boys? How did this stack get this thick? You know what, actually, though? I'm looking at Artanis' wave. It looks kind of sus, boys. Artanis' wave looks kind of sus, boys. Um. <laughs> Anyways, you know what, though? Not going to be too sad about that or too mad about that. I mean... This comeback was pretty amazing from the enemy team. Like they had all, they basically put together all of their stacking units, and they made it happen, boys. Oh, and we also have a Tychus who only has like a small amount of guys. There we go. I don't know. We'll see. I want to see how thick this Impeller is, though. He did, he, he did pop off. He does have 800 health. Uh, maybe the Tyrannosaurus were a mistake, but it's just like I feel like the the splash damage. I don't know. That's the thing. It's like, hmm, the Haka splash damage is not that great. I had to like go ham on it right in the beginning, but I also feel like I, I don't have the opportunity to do so. Let's look at this. All right, okay, all right, all right. Most of the enemy team just doing huge amounts of damage. Uh, all right. Well, this was short, so let's do another round. All right, we are back, boys. And I just had a big brain thought. Such it's not a big brain thought actually. It's a really bad one. Uh, hold on, hold on. Let me see the attack speed of this. Okay, get that out of my sight. So. What if we just bought a ton of Hydralisk? 
right? Because Hydralis, like, like they, they've got decent DPS, right? They, they attack, like, every 0.65 seconds. Let me get that upgrade for him. There we go. Uh, 0.65 seconds, and and everything else is, like, what? Like, like it, it costs only 95. Actually, that's quite expensive, actually. It's basically a Marauder, if I'm thinking about it. Like, I'm basically buying a Marauder. Um, it doesn't do any bonus specialized damage to anything, like, against Armored. Like, Marauders do bonus damage to Armored. But uh, I think it does more damage than a Marauder um, to general targets. So yeah, it's like, I just gotta think about it like that. Like, what if I just bought a ton of Hydralisk instead of what I did last time, which was like, buy big boys, right? Because like, it's not the big boys that matter. It's the, it's the DPS coming out of the big boys that matter. And can you get a bite in? Oh yes, took a little snack on that Dragoon just before, just before he was about to get off here. Cause like, look, Marauders only do 10 damage, right? To like, whatever random stuff. And they only have that kind of attack speed, the 0.65 attack speed, when they, are stimmed, so basically Hydralis are, are cracked. Uh, on 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 even even look okay, at the Hakas Hydralis are not as cracked as Kerrigan Hydralis by comparison, but like, you know, Hydras are Hydras, boys. Like I think the mistake I made last game was not buying more Hydralis, boys. You got Nova Marines; those are just I think better versions of my Hydralis. I'll be honest. Um, but you know what? It's okay. We're just gonna spit on them here. Boom, boom. Actually, Nova Marines are a little bit more expensive in comparison. They do less damage too, but they attack a little bit faster, uh, which is problematic, I suppose. I don't know. My Hydralis do melt through them a little bit. Come on, Hydralis. Come on, Hydralis. Nah, there's a Nova. That Hydralis lost. All right, boys. So let's just put down some more Hydras, and then I think now let's stop and buying Hydras, and let's go and buy a another Dahaka. Let's get another Dahaka, boys. We get a second Dahaka. We get Dahaka number two, boys. All right, Dahaka number two. I don't know, boys. This is an experiment, okay? Because last game, I, it's not that our build was not that great. I think it's just our teammates were not doing so hot either. But, you know, it's fair to experiment. I mean, we can always go back there again if, uh, you know, the situation turns out that we need to go back there, you know? Um, the situation demands it. Okay, so I think if I evolve weapons here, I can still afford a second Dahaka. And I'm gonna get healing. This is basically like having a medic on your team, uh, and because yeah, the Hakas units don't do that much damage. I mean, I mean, the the Marines don't do much that much damage. You can out heal, and then just uh, laugh. Okay, Hydralisk gonna knock out Nova here. There we go. There we go, Hydralisk. You guys are doing it, boys. You guys are the real heroes. There's we. There we go. And I can uh, make this V a little deeper, probably. Um, so you are going to be shifted over here. We're just gonna progressively expand the V, boys. Progressively deepening V. There we go. I think I missed the spot there. Yeah, I missed the spot there. There we go. There we go, boys. Uh huh. And now we got the, we got the, we got the two. Okay, we got a BCL here. BCL doing some circles, doing some patrols. Okay, I'm gonna level up here. Got some more marines coming in. Is Nova seriously just... No, Nova? I don't think Nova's bought any more marines, has she? Please tell me she's not buying more marines. Like, marines are just a bad long-term investment against me. Um, and my Hydras are all going to get health based on the Dahakas they kill. So, they're also going to, like, harvest some marines. They're going to harvest some Novas. I think Nova's only counter is, like, probably, like, either Banshees. Ooh, that could be very frightening, actually. So, I should probably get ready for that. Um, and or... Um, Liberators? No. Can massing Wrathwalkers beat Manx Sky Furies? Yes, they can. Uh, if you can see them before they see you. Because Sky Furies just simply cannot, they simply don't have that much range. So that's the one advantage Wrathwalkers have over you. Uh, oh! Wait, 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 but Unstoppable might change things though. Uh. Okay, yeah, War Prisms, I think, yeah, 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 that should be fine. That should be fine. I think, I think, I think Sky Furies will actually get memed on. Um, I'm pretty sure they'll get memed on. Like, I'm pretty sure they'll get memed on here. We got some Aegis Guard, I should have eaten those bad boys. Oh, well, a little late for that, but that means my Hydralis can harvest them for their own uh, collection of bonus HP. Come on, Hydralis. One of you guys are getting that Aegis Guard for dinner. Come on. Yeah, that Aegis Guard do be thick, though. You do be thick though. All right, it's fine. So, yeah, boys. I think I think like because like with with Unstoppable though, if Sky Fairies start popping off, 
it's over for the Wrathwalkers. Because, like, they'll have so much health that even though the Wrathwalkers do so much damage per shot, it wouldn't even matter. Um, we got our Marauder Hydralisk army here. Classic bio. There we go, boys. Yeah, the Hydralisks are honestly just doing so well. I think this week is just Hydralisk week, boys. If you're a Zerg player and you got Hydralisk, just buy them. Uh, let's, let's make the V a little bit deeper this time. This is the final iteration. The final iteration. There we go. Just... Oh, no. Okay, yeah, there we go. Just shift click all these bad boys down. Okay, we got some Goliaths and Siege Tanks. Let me tell you guys, that is not the correct thing to do against Hydralisk. Units that like to stand very close to each other on the ground with not a large amount of HP to share between them. Um, that's when you buy a bunch of Covert Banshees uh, and laugh. Also because Dahakus kind of struggles with that too. Here's also why you shouldn't buy Zealots, boys. The Zealots just run in and die. Um... Also, probably why I should not have bought Ultralisk, and I should not have bought uh, Tyrannosaurs, especially. Um, I think in a week where there was no Unstoppable, that would not be too bad. You see, the Skyfreys are actually landing, and they're getting knocked out here. Although... Okay, yeah, that Skyfree got taken out. Yeah, no problem. No sweat, no sweat. It was getting awfully close there, boys. That looks like the game, boys. Well, turns out the secret was just to buy more Hydralisk and to have Rainer on your team. Um... I don't know which one in in which order, but let's see. Let's how are our hydralisks doing? Okay, they were doing all right, I suppose. I don't know. They didn't get too much thicker, but on average, most of them had more. Most of them have more health than they started with. On average, I think. I think these ones are new. I just placed them down. So yeah, those guys. Those guys don't count. Actually, I did more damage than Rainer. Man, okay. You know what? Don't underestimate the Haka's hydralisk, boys. I think I underestimated. Them. Oh my! Yes, do not underestimate the Haka hydralisk, boys. Man, that'd be some real damage. Those Hydralis do be busting it down. All right. I see you. Okay. Also, if you're Nova and you're against a bunch of Hydralis, please have at least like 10 of these. Um, They will eventually win. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed these two games, be sure to leave a like. And until next time, I will see you guys later. The tires. Let's light some fires. They picked the wrong place.